And the bottom left playing Vesper again. We have Pedian up against Cleaner Code also playing Vesper. So unlike game one, Cleaner Code decides to go with like arguably one of the strongest characters in the game. Instead of trying to play like Green Finger into her. And I think that's a wise decision. Vesper very strong on this map. This is definitely a map where you can set up a nice aggressive position in the center, drop smoke on yourself, attack the turn after, or just attack in, get a really good aggressive position on the strongholds in front of it, or drop smoke in. So, Vesper definitely very good on this map. We're going to see how these openings play out. We're not seeing the early captures here from uh, Cleaner Code, so Cleaner's Playing the more, I'm going to starve my opponent of Groove opening. And I think that's a perfectly valid way of playing this. Oh, I love this positioning from Vesper here. Because she's actually going to be able to attack into the enemy Vesper on this turn. With a knight to support it. Oh no, just going to go for the heal. Interesting. I really thought that was going to be Vesper attacks in and like Knight supports it. But uh, we didn't decide to just go for a, I'm going to heal up and threaten. More of a pressure play than a, an aggressive play. Oh, but the Mage Hill comes in. So Cleaner Code wants to keep a bit of tempo. Doesn't want to just, you know, die. But I do think Vesper can just be aggressive here. Can attack it too. The, uh, the enemy sword, for example. And yeah, that's what we're going to see. Builds a bunch of groove. Ooh, Cleaner Code has a lot of groove right now, though. But PDN, yeah, it's just being aggressive this turn. It's like, yeah, I can be. I can go aggro. All right, what are we seeing? Seeing Cleaner Code have to pull back. Really took a bit of beating in this last turn. But we have to reinforce this balloon very well. Uh, is actually doing quite well over on this right hand side. But loses units. There's a knight over here. This spear is going to take a while to get to the front. Obedience just kind of a. Uh, trading blows right now. Ooh, that's, that's two spears next to your knight. I don't know if it's like the best idea to attack into that. Trainer's just spending a bunch of gold to heal up. We're gonna see this time. There. Kills the knight with two spears. These spears are set up, you know, they could take out this village next turn. Vesper can as well, so. But I do think the Pedian has a nice go advantage right now. And it's just a case of like, is he gonna be able to hold that economy? Has a golem to back up this army too. Cleaner does not have the tools right now to deal with the golem. Just gonna keep putting pressure on the right hand side. A spear will keep a knight at, bit, at bay. <sighs> Ooh, clear does a ton of damage to the enemy Vesper. And is actually gonna be ready to have Groove. Oh, Pedient, that's not a good place to be. Oh, but the second knight comes in and kind of crushes this right hand side. Pedient, doing really well on this right side. Oh, just needs to keep this stuff alive. Oh, Dragon came out. Perfect timing to deal with this golem. Oh, but I, I wonder if there's enough here. Ooh, double mage heal. Dragon, followed by knight, so golem goes down for no damage in return. And there isn't enough here to deal with both the balloon and the dragon. Oh, this is very unfortunate. And the smoke too, so... That is... A really nice position for... Unicode to be in. And this sword is still doing a bit of work over on this right hand side. Oh, gets the kill. Kills a mage too? We're gonna see, yeah, balloon goes down. We've got the second mage coming up behind this, so... And yeah, just mage printers are gonna come out. 
All right, what are we going to see? The dragon can do free damage this turn. Ooh, good spear crit. Good mage hit. Dragon, ooh, flies across. Is like, I have to deal with these knights. They're doing a bit too much work. Ooh, that's a pretty risky play to put Vesper that close to the front line. Without any kind of smoke or anything. I don't know if there's enough units here to really punish, so... He's probably fine. Oh, and there's no anti air on this right hand side, so this dragon can really put in a ton of work. Pedian, he's just gonna keep fighting forwards. But I, I wonder if this dragon is just gonna be a bit too dangerous. And they're both holding groove. So. Potentially they could have like run in and like tried to finish it by now, but Ooh, that's a very risky place to put Vesper. There's a witch. There is enemy Vesper. I think P is gonna try and go for the lethal here. Alright, kills the spear. Oh, doesn't go for a lethal attempt? There was a lot of unit suicides available. And a full health Vesper. Okay, just going to see damage come in. Cleaner code. But yeah, I guess cleaner code's taking a lot of damage this turn, so just going to pull back. Ooh, that's a good night follow-up. And now Dragon can basically do whatever it wants. Especially with all these other units going down. And I guess cleaner code can just heal. Like the village is right here. That's a really good turn for cleaner. And yeah, PD is gonna try and do what they can. Big Hex is gonna come in, kills two swords. That's nice. And yeah, lots of units going down. <laughs> this like dragon is slowly getting chipped away at by the the witch hex. But oh, you're gonna lose a witch. And is that? No, it's not lethal, but it's a surround. Oh no, that is really unfortunate. And Cleaner Code is going to take advantage of the fact that the right hand side is completely open. And all Pedient can do right now is drop their own smoke. That's it, that's the only option available right now. Oh. Oh, but doesn't. Saves the smoke. Oh, no, that's such an unfortunate play. Like, Pedian had to throw smoke down on themselves to keep those units alive. Because that would have meant that there would be smoke up on Cleaner Code's turn, and he could have just had all of his units under smoke, so Cleaner Code couldn't do a follow up attack. Pedian just makes a misplay at the end. And I think Cleaner Code had an advantage towards the end there, but yeah, that smoke would have kept them alive, so. Oh, rough way to go out. And Cleaner Code takes game two in a very active, like, fight between them. They were both just constantly fighting on this left hand side. And uh, on the right hand side, doesn't really work out uh, too well for PDN either. Cleaner Code just dedicate, like the, the switch, the front switch with that dragon to just take out one of the knights really helped allow Cleaner to just kind of push further forward. So well played. Cleaner Code takes the set 2-1.